You know, many of us enjoy the great outdoors, the fresh air, the sunshine, walking through the woods. But if that's you, this time of year, you need to be checking yourself daily for ticks. This morning, we have Dr. Daniel Job with Novant Health Primary Care to talk more about ticks and Lyme disease. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing just fine. Hope you are too. First off, we're experienced with finding a tick on ourselves or maybe one of the kids or something. Do all ticks necessarily carry Lyme disease? No, uh, most tick bites do not cause infection. So in most cases, you can simply remove the tick with tweezers, clean the bite, and no further treatment is required unless symptoms develop. The only ticks that cause Lyme are uh, Ebody species ticks, the ones we commonly call deer ticks. And in order to give you Lyme, the tick itself must be infected with a bacteria called Borrelia, which it transfers to you through the bite. Ticks with this infection are more commonly found in other parts of the U.S., but they can be found in the mid-Atlantic states, including Virginia and North Carolina. So it's very important to be aware and consider Lyme disease if you've been outdoors and have suggested symptoms. Well, well, let's talk about some of the symptoms. How long before something like that tends to show up? Symptoms usually appear within three to 30 days, and the earliest symptoms are things like fever, headache, fatigue, body aches. There's usually a red banding rash at the site of the bite, and later that rash can start to spread to other parts of the body, and the patient might even develop more serious symptoms like heart palpitations or neurologic symptoms such as facial muscle weakness or nerve pain. If it's untreated, late symptoms can include uh, arthritis pain, especially in large joints like the knee, perhaps some chronic neurologic symptoms such as subtle memory loss, confusion, nerve pain, or numbness. You mentioned untreated, but what, what about treatments? Are, are there things that are readily available to, to deal with Lyme disease? Oh yes, Lyme disease is, is easily treated and cured with oral antibiotics, usually given for two to four weeks. Our preferred antibiotics are things like doxycycline, amoxicillin, Cefuroxin. These are medications that have been around for many decades and they work quite well. I imagine untreated though it can lead to some, some problems, maybe uh, internal problems with other organs? Yes, untreated Lyme can cause some very serious complications over time. It can cause uh, cardiac complications, uh, nervous system complications, and joint damage. But all of these things are, are easily preventable with appropriate antibiotics. So early diagnosis and treatment are very important. If you detect a, a tick on yourself or on your, your child or something, uh, one thing that I'd heard in the past, good idea to put it maybe in a plastic bag and put it in the freezer. Uh, if there were to be problems, can actually examining the tick give you a better diagnosis of whether it is or isn't Lyme disease? Uh, that's not quite as helpful as most people think. If, if someone wants to save the tick and bring it in, perhaps we can uh, look, look it up online and just confirm whether it is in fact a deer tick. Uh, we don't actually run tests on the tick itself. The diagnosis of Lyme is made based on the history of tick exposure, uh, the correct symptoms, and, and some blood work. Okay, doctor, uh, very timely stuff because so many people are out these days. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.